good afternoon YouTube here we are another week another Friday the job is going good I think I'll show you in a second a little sneak peek of how good it's going look at that let's talk about it so we had a week of uh, a setback and a setback was uh, we couldn't get our finishers in time. Our schedule revolved around them. So one week, I couldn't get concrete finishers. The next week, I could. So instead of pouring concrete one week here, the next week, we kind of doubled it up in one week. We had a pour on a Monday. We had a pour on a Friday. Both extremely long days. One was a 4 a.m. pour. One was a 3 a.m. pour. And that has to do with the size of the slab. So... As far as the schedule goes, we were behind one week, but we made up for it in the next week. So if you set a goal, your goal could be for one week, or you could set the goal for two weeks, or you could set the goal for the, you know, the next year. So if you set a goal a year out, you can still get behind in so many areas, but you've got a year to make it up. So I guess kind of the scheduling is what you make it. If we had a two week goal, hey, we're there to some degree. Let me show you. Here is our office slab. This is all office. Fifty by a hundred and seventy. Kind of fill it up with offices. This is a bank of bathrooms. Pipes going upstairs. Pipes for downstairs. We've got a mezzanine comes over into a warehouse space here. And this is part of the warehouse. This area here. We had to blow this floor out a little bit because of the anchor bolts for the pre-engineered metal building. Otherwise, I would have had a form that ran right through the middle of those pipes and right through those anchor bolts. So we, we blew the form out to a control line, which is a saw cut. Um, my saw cuts are on designated measurements throughout the building. So it got bigger and bigger and bigger until we had to get over here to a, a saw cut that we could, where we could form. So we almost doubled the size of the slab on the office space. But that's kind of something you don't think about until you're in the field and you say, hey, I'm going to throw a form here. Wait, we can't. So things change in the field. So we poured this on Monday. Started this Monday morning, 4 a.m. Finished it up about 5.30 in the afternoon. And that all has to do with finishing. The type of finish on the concrete, the weather, how quick the concrete's drying, how quick you can finish it. This is part of our warehouse. This is what we call the southeast quadrant. Should have been 250 feet by 150 feet. We had to make it a little smaller. Okay. We had to come in the middle of our pour. We had to throw an additional form board in here. And that's because our concrete provider couldn't give us what we needed. We needed seven or 800 yards, I believe, but we wound up with 500. So 500 took us to there. We threw a form board in, no big deal. We'll, we'll schedule this on another pour. So are we meeting schedules? Yes, we're meeting schedules. Are we getting ahead? I won't say we're getting ahead because we're, we're getting to a couple factors, but I think we're still right on time. You know, even though I don't have this poured, that gives me the ability to jump over into another quadrant, my Northeast quadrant, and continue working and prepping, which is what's going on now. So what we're looking at, Thursday I'll pour this, the following Thursday, we'll pour that. So here we are. Three weeks after pouring the office, I'll have half the building done. But that's because we had a lot of prep work done. So I would say that is meeting schedules and making it faster. See you next time.